What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is episode five, which is our phase two. And the significance of this is we can actually craft cargo now. So without further ado, here is the Yukon maps. Hope you guys really enjoy this. Please help support the channel by liking, subscribing, commenting, and please share the video as well. So let's get into this. Roll the tape. The Yukon, the second phase release and the first region that mixes snow and mud together. These maps can bog you down or overturn your vehicle at elevation if you're not careful. With a head start on map reading and planning, you'll find these maps enjoyable rather than frustrating. Before we jump into our very informal yet great informational video, I need to state that this is based upon an unmodded playthrough with all the vehicles that are in-game given by the SnowRunner developers. In this review, we're going to cover the overall outlook for the Yukon region, the areas of concern and analysis for both maps, and the recommended routes. So without wasting any more time, let's talk about the overall outlook for the Yukon. A brief description and overall outlook for the Yukon is as follows. The difficulty is hard. It's an ideal time to use stronger, capable trucks. It's a good area for different tire options and a great region for utilizing shortcuts. Next up, we're going to talk about the areas of concern and analysis, and then after that, we'll talk about the recommended routes for both maps, starting with the flooded foothills. Okay, so welcome to the areas of concern and analysis for the flooded foothills. This is the first map on the Yukon region, and right now you're seeing a different image here. That's just because I'm working on uh, the flooded foothills and the Big Salmon Peak right now for my second playthrough but I have spent a lot of time in these areas and I definitely know them pretty well. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about these red areas, um, but first I wanna just show that there are only four watchtowers, as you can see, and they don't open up all the areas. And this is gonna prompt you to use the prototype exploration unit, which is a scout uh, trailer. Sorry, I can't really talk today, but yeah. And then also you notice that the white areas here Take note that this is going to be higher elevations and you're going to find super snow in those areas, icy, rocky conditions, and you might have some patches of mud through those as well. So on your lower parts, these darker areas, it's going to be pretty much mud, super mud, and uh, maybe some dipping terrain uh, as well. So starting from the left hand side of the map, I'm going to quickly go through these areas. I'm not going to go through every single one, but we're going to touch some of the uh, higher um, areas that you pass more frequently. Okay, so this area is just a, uh, a area of um, deep mud. There's stumps you can grab to come through. After that, this is basically super snow that comes up through this area. Um, it's kind of tough because usually you're going up this way in a scout truck, uh, not normally in any other vehicle. And if you were, you'd probably be coming this way, up this way to the, the sawmill. Coming up to the sawmill is a, an icy path. I know it gets muddy down here, then it turns icy, and then up here, this is like a super mud patch that comes through. You can skirt around it or winch through it. Um, that is up to you. And then coming up here for a scout truck, this is gonna be a place where you can um, definitely turn over your vehicle very easily. It's gonna be icy as well, so just be careful when you come up to grab this tower because it does unlock a bunch of things, as you can see. And up here is just another icy route coming up to this area that you have a task for. Um, as well. This is a, a big mud strip um, and that's why you can see you rather just take this way uh, to go all the way over to this warehouse, this warehouse, and then up. But there are things down here to do and you can make crossings. So it is a, just a little bit more of a difficult area as mud is concerned and also in here as well on this island. Now to highlight over here, this is one of my uh, biggest areas that I need to highlight because getting to this bridge to cross over to come up and ascend into these mountains, uh, you can fall over. And these paths are actually go down into the water prior to getting to the bridge. So just be aware you might have to fling winches out to get you through, to get you over rocks, and to stop yourself from tipping. So yes, be aware of that. And then the hill, <laughs> the treacherous icy hill with rocks all over it. Uh, this is going to be a tough hill to ascend, and this is why I do not recommend taking cargo up this hill 
uh, this way. I'll show you a different route when we talk about our recommended routes, but this is just to um, scout um, with the, the scout truck prototype unit to cover this area. And then after that, down here, I've gotten trucks stuck along this big patch of mud, like down to their frame where I'm bringing some of the biggest vehicles out just to get them out of these parts. So uh, I would steer clear of these unless you absolutely have to go down these routes um, right here. And then we're going to talk about this route up here, which is another big highlight. Um, this is rocky, super snow, and you're going to be winching yourself over top of like large boulders all the way through. If not, you're going to be in super snow going, you know, at walking pace. And there's two tasks that you have to do. Just get them done early so you never have to come here again. That's kind of what I did. And then down here is just a super snow patch. And I usually take this route to get there. I'd rather just go slow this way than go over all these rocks. Uh, this is just a, a patch of super mud that's down in this little uh, valley here that congregates. Um, not too bad. You can get through it pretty easily, but it does slow you down. So I had to put that in there. This is another uh, small gully where there are trees, but there is, there is some super mud and some difficult terrain through here as well. And then down at the bottom of this hill, because you're descending down from these white parts to these lower elevations, this is a mud, uh, that's not a mud pit. That's actually, this is a mud pit here uh, by the trailer store. There are trees around it to winch through or a bigger truck can kind of like dredge through it as well. After that, it gets to a green area but then comes down here to a huge mud pit that I try to avoid or put my tire up on a softer part of the terrain and then push through. But there are winch points to get through it. Or if you have a big truck that can just uh, maneuver through it, you're probably going to be okay, but it is going to take time. And we'll talk about time saving a little bit later on our recommended routes as well. And we're just going to continue and try to plug through this. Another area I do want to cover, and it's the last two I do want to cover, is this area over here. That is a super big mud area. And this crossing is not recommended. There are other places to cross here. I do not recommend this crossing. I have went in here and flipped trucks uh, due to current. And yeah, I, w I just wouldn't do it. And then in here is just uh, boggy mud. I've gotten... Um, a couple Azov trucks stuck in here, just down to their frame. It's not fun. So what I would do is is stay close to the outside and trees, and there's a task that you can get in here, and then just pull it out appropriately and just use winch points. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then lastly, uh, right here by the uh, fuel station over to this warehouse and trailer store, this is a very watery, boggy area that extends all the way through. And I actually didn't extend it through here. There should be a red part in here as well because this is another boggy area and I avoid these like the plague. And I will show you in my recommended videos how to avoid those and uh, make your way eastbound on the map faster uh, because that's, that's the way I use. So with that being said, we're gonna uh, end this section of the analysis and then we're gonna jump over to the recommended routes for flooded foothills. Okay, so welcome to uh, the in-game portion. And right now I have the game up and we're gonna look at the recommended routes for flooded foothills. And as you can see by my blue dots, uh, I don't have a lot. These are just going to main areas where you're picking up uh, big pieces of cargo or cargo to complete the contracts in the game. So all the other smaller routes I can dive in and look at later if you want to, uh, but those are gonna have to be done when I'm on stream or if you contact me on my Discord. So anyways, let's take a look here from the garage. I'm going to scroll over if I can get on here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so from the garage, uh, to go to the concrete plant, it's all paved way. Not a big issue as well. It takes maybe you know a couple seconds to get there. Same thing with getting to the sawmill. This gets over into a muddy area, but then goes up uh, a rocky path. And then there's some super mud we, we talked about in our uh, areas of concern. You can skirt the sides, which I do, or just winch your way through, and you should be okay. This area's moderate route goes back to the warehouse, then crosses over um, a rock face that overhangs the river, and then uh, jumps back up into the terrain through some trees, mud, etc., over here to the log station. And that's where you're going to get some of your cargo as well. And then back to the 
trailer store and garage if we want to go to the warehouse the warehouse is actually just through this little back way uh, it can be pretty muddy back here so but you do have winch points as you can see with the green areas are vegetation and then this joins this route that comes down from the trailer store and the garage that descends uh, southbound uh, there are some bridges that you have to fix there are some mud pits that you have to go through you can dodge them uh, like i said there these trees are spaced out a little bit more than previous maps and it's a great area to make shortcuts so uh, take advantage of those and then after we descend down here um, this is a paved way across this bridge this uh, i think this is a bridge you actually have to build one of these two um, and then here is a route that I do want to highlight is when we get to the fuel station. I'm going to zoom in here to kind of show you. So once you get to the fuel station, you can see if we look down this path, it like disappears almost into this watery uh, substance. And this is not an ideal path to take unless you really just love getting in mud. Uh, if you want to save time, um, I'm going to show you a route that, that you can save time with to get across um, from the west side of the map to the east side and this is it so at the fuel station you just dive through these trees i've taken um large loads of cargo you know semi trailers through these trees you can get through i've gotten bigger trucks through here so just find a, a way through this it's right when this path starts to bend you can just jump through just pick apart and then you come down these uh railroad tracks just be aware of falling off or tipping over because once you get off the railroad track it's kind of slanted so what i do is i either put one wheel up on the railroad track and then just drive through so right here there's a blockage to unblock this there's the, the materials you need that are right here to finish this task after you do it's clear sailing all the way through if you do not have this unblocked you have to dip down in here and then come up onto this road and that will take you a little bit it's not too bad but once you get this cleared you should be good to go and now let's uh, back out here a little bit and then this railway station and as you can see I'll continue down this railway instead of going through these thick pieces of mud and these will take a lot of time these mud pits are a time suck and I don't know this is just a smarter way to go and a faster way but also if you just like going through mud go through the mud if you like to save time then here's a really good way so after we after we get down here uh, close to this cabin construction site you can see it darts over to the paved road. Just be aware of these stumps in here because you can get caught up on those and that is not fun at all. And then this turns into pavement, goes over here. There's a mud pit here. You can skirt around it, go through it, uh, winch through it, etc. After that, you'll head uh, northeast up this path and you are ascending into the mountains at this time. And there's that big mud pit we talked about. Uh, you can kind of skirt around it here or make your way around it. It doesn't matter. You can winch through it, go through it. Um, you should be able to uh, with winching as well. After that, you start going up into the mountains, and this is where you're going to want to have those chain tires. Anytime you're going up into these white areas, chain tires is going to be your ticket because if not, you're just going to slip and fall back down these paths. And then up here by the trailer store, if we want to go to the log station, um, we actually come down here. There's like a little path, and then there's a berm here. Instead of going out on the ice where the rocks are and getting stuck, I go through here, jump up on this berm, through these trees, and then join the path that takes you to the log station. It's not really hard, it's pretty easy. And then the last path is just through this mud pit. There are winch points, like we said, you'll get slowed down. And then this right here is some uh, um, terrain that is actually slanting down toward the valley down here. So be aware of tipping over because these rocks can uh, unsettle your truck and tip you off balance. So just take it easy. And there's some tasks back here and contracts that you need to fulfill. And guys, that is it for the recommended routes for flooded foothills. I know I did this really quick, but I can answer questions if you're ever in my stream. My Discord's going to be in the description as well. And right now, we're going to jump over to Bla I mean, uh, Big Salmon Peak and do the areas of concern and analysis. Okay, so welcome to the areas of concern and analysis on the second and final map. This is Big Salmon Peak right now. And I'm going to take note of the elevation on this map. As you can see, the center of the map is actually the highest elevation on the map. And everything else, this is higher elevation up here, but not as high as the peak. And then down here, you're going to see these little bogs. And you can see the darker areas and just kind of signifies that this is going to be lower elevation. 
So I'm going to skim through this because this is the most red areas that we had so far in the whole series. So I'm going to kind of go through uh, a broad area and then we'll move over and then I'll talk about some recommended routes here and planning. Anyways, over here in the west side of the map, these getting to these little cargo places where you're going to shuttle this cargo uh, to your main hubs to craft things, this right here is where I had the most trouble. Um, in these back areas where they're red, this is going to be very uh, icy, rocky, super snow areas that it's just going to take you a long time. Even with your best trucks, you're just going to get um, stuck. You're going to get hung up and just be aware of overturning as well. You might have to winch quite a bit, but uh, this is the areas that took me the most time was to get these materials over here on the west side of the map. Now let's move to the east side of the map here and you can see that I just blocked off this whole area. And I did this because if you look down here in these dark little patches, uh, these are actually tiny little routes through this swamp. And this is a swamp that extends all the way down from the north east part to the southeast part of the map. And there's a lot of tasks and contracts down in here to do, but I didn't think it was too hard because there are fallen logs and uh, trees in here as well. So it's not too bad, but you're gonna have to winch through if you get stuck. I've had to do it, it's not too bad, but I definitely think the west side of the map is still the hardest uh, just for the super snow conditions. And then the last thing I wanted to highlight, there's two things, I'll highlight this right here. This is a, a patch of super snow, super mud. Uh, that's a shortcut I take, and we'll talk about that in the recommended routes as well to get to these um, two warehouses. But, and the last thing I wanna talk about is this lake down here. It's kind of a lake mud pit. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's super deep. It submerges your truck almost up to the uh, the top. And it is a pain to get through, especially if you're trying to come eastbound off of these nice roads uh, to get to this uh, construction point. And I will show you a different way on our recommended routes. So I did not take a bunch of time to break this down because there's just so many small routes that you can take to get to these areas where you have to pick up stuff. But in our recommended routes, I'll show you ways after you get those to shuttle this cargo efficiently to the areas that you have to make it. And then uh, it will go pretty fast for you like it did in me. So let's jump over to the recommended routes now. Okay, for the final segment of the video, this is the recommended routes for Big Salmon Peak. And as you can see, I have my blue dots up here. This is not an in-game uh, screenshot because I don't have the Big Salmon Peak unlocked in my current playthrough because I lost my files. So I'm gonna do the best I can with what we got. So let's take note of these paths that are highlighted, that are thick. All these paths that you see that are, th that are pretty thick opposed to these smaller, skinnier ones, the thick ones are gonna be all paved roads. So just take note of that. Um, and that means that you can just move cargo very easily throughout this map. And that's something I liked about Big Salmon Peak was when I actually brought this cargo back to my central hub, which was this area, I, I would store it here and then I would move it to a place wherever I was crafting cargo and then move it to its destination and it was super fast. And that's how I saved um, the majority of my time was bringing all this cargo back to a centralized hub and then moving it to its place accordingly. And I'm gonna cover some of these areas here. Uh, the first place I wanna cover, which I talked about in my areas of concern, is getting to this point from the garage. And the garage symbol is not here, but we'll just uh, we'll roll with it. So this is all gonna be paved road up here until you get to right here. And you can see that I kinda of dip up instead of diving down into this lake because if you make this left-hand turn, it kinda of gets uh, muddy, rocky, and then bumpy through here but it actually gets you up onto this driving surface that's just paved and it takes you here. And it's a quick way to get you to the, you know, southeast side of the map instead of going all the way up this path and then coming down the, uh, the railway. So it's just a quick way to get you to the other side of the maps. And that's what this uh, segment is for with the recommended routes is just to get you to parts of the map that you need, need to go very quickly and efficiently. Um, to get to this little, um, what's it called? <laughs> a warehouse. Sorry guys. It's been a long day. Um, you have to go through these areas. These are going to be rocky. They are going to be icy and they are going to be super snow. 
You have to winch, you have to winch, but you will have cargo here that you have to get. Um, but just be aware of that. And then lastly, I talked about this shortcut and then I talked about this as well. This, you can jump through this fence. It's kind of tight. I normally don't take cargo through here, but it is a shortcut to get to these warehouses. I normally just go down here. As soon as this road bends, I'll jump onto this path. It turns into super snow and super mud, but I found it to be faster and just an easier experience to go this way over top the tracks and then to these double warehouses where you actually have a lot of cargo to get. And then right here is just going to be a muddy, icy path that has rocks to this warehouse. And honestly, guys, that is basically it for the routes. Um, one thing I do want to highlight, what I, I did mention that when you're getting all these cargo uh, parts from these positions, just bring them back to a centralized location. You can store them there. And then from there, you can shuttle them on these paved ways to where they need to go, craft what you need to, and then take it to its destination. And that's how I saved a ton of time. I blazed through this map just by doing that. The hardest parts are just getting out there to get those, uh, those materials in those locations. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope this helped you out a lot. Until next time, have a wonderful day. God bless and stay upright.